This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. We hear it said, after each and every one of these, these mass shootings in America, not to politicize, now's not the time for politics, which is just stupid. Because when you have a problem, the only solutions to which can be solved by a political solution, then politics is the thing that we should talk about. The solutions are political. This inherently is a political issue. No amount of praying is going to get anything done. And the reason I say that, a lot of people get offended by that, is if prayer worked relative to stopping school shootings, the millions if not billions of prayers that have been lifted up on high would have done something by now. But they continue to happen. Week after week, month after month, year after year, with piles of dead kids. Mountains of dead children. But don't politicize it. <laughs> thoughts and prayers, thoughts and prayers, thoughts, thoughts and prayers. It's gross. It ignores a very real problem that we alone have. This doesn't happen in Australia. This doesn't happen in Great Britain. This doesn't happen the world over. It happens here. They blame video games, even though everybody has video games. They blame mental illness, even though every country has people who suffer from mental illness. They blame the, blame the culture, the secular culture. They blame the fact that we don't pray in school. Nobody prays in school. And this happened yesterday. Beto O'Rourke, running for office in Texas, uh, he went to the inherently political event to jostle them, to ask for something to be done with Greg Abbott. Ted Cruz smugly standing behind them. This, this array of, of dumb shits on the stage uh, putting on this act as though they care. And they do not care. Maybe on some tertiary level they do, but they don't care enough to do anything to solve the problem. And that's when it matters. Anyway, I want to I want to play this clip. A very brief clip. I got two angles. We're gonna play them simultaneously on the screen so you can see how it went down. Beto going in. Well, what did he say? He said. You said, he's talking to Greg Abbott, you said this was not predictable. This was totally predictable. And you choose to not do anything. Watch this moment. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> sit down. You're out of, you're out of line and an embarrassment. Hey. Sit, sit down. Get out of line. Next shooting hey. is right now, and you are doing nothing. No. We need to get his ass out of here. This isn't the place to talk this over. This is totally predictable. When you Sir, you're out of line. Sir, you're out of line. Sir, you're out of line. Please leave this auditorium. I can't believe you're a sick son of a bitch that would come to a deal like this to make a political issue. This is a political issue, you hick. I can't believe you sick son of a bitch. Thankfully, there was Beto there. Thankfully, someone does have what it takes to do what it takes. Because Greg Abbott, he's not doing it. Ted Cruz, he has no, no motivation whatsoever because he doesn't care. The goof in, with the walker, he doesn't care. Get out of here. All these armed police officers, 98% of the crowd, 98% of the dais, white, doing nothing. 
languishing in white supremacy. Beto, while after escorted by armed cop outside, continued to talk about the things that needed to be talked about inside, but weren't. Watch this. 50th in the nation in mental health care access. 50th. There are only 50 states in the nation. We are dead last. The number one provider of mental health care services under Greg Abbott in the state of Texas is the county jail system in the state of Texas. The largest inpatient mental health care facility in the state of Texas is the Harris County Jail in downtown Houston, Texas. He's refused to expand Medicaid, which would bring $10 billion a year, including mental health care access. They're having trouble, they may kill somebody, they may kill themselves. A red flag law would protect the public. He's refused, he's refused, he's refused, he's refused to support safe storage laws so young people cannot get their hands on their parents' guns. Why he he's refused, he's refused to support, he's refused to support a ban on AR-15s and AK-47s. This 18-year-old who just turned 18 bought an AR-15 and took it into an elementary school and shot kids in the face and killed them. Why are we letting this happen in this country? Why is this happening in this state? Year after year, city after city, this is on all of us if we do not do something, and I am going to do something, and I'm not alone. The people of Texas are with us. The majority of the people of Texas are with us, but we've got to stand up to this, or we just accept this theater and business as usual, and we accept the next shooting. We could have stopped this if we had stood up after Santa Fe High School, if we had stood up after El Paso. We are going to stop the next one. We're standing up right here in Uvalde, Texas right now. That's why I'm here. So the people of Texas want right now. That's what we're going to focus on. Beto O'Rourke is right to call what they were doing inside theater. It, they may, have, may as well have had a, a soundtrack and lines written for them. Because they follow. It's the same thing every single time. Here's a headline from 2018 that you would think uh, would have been this week. As news of Texas school shooting broke, Fox called for armed guards. After finding out there were armed guards, Fox called for arming teachers. It's predictable. It is a script. Don't politicize. Don't talk about the only solutions that are actually going to work. Now is the time for thoughts and prayers. Now is the time for fantasy land. Because if we actually use the moments when, when it is emblazoned in people's minds to solve our very real crises, then what, what's next? How are my pockets going to be lined by the gun lobby if we actually do something about the, the problem that we alone have? I welcome your input. You can call, leave me a brief uh, voicemail, 714-576-4054. You can email me daily at dollamore.com. I've been getting a lot of voicemails and emails on these topics. I appreciate all of your communication. Follow me on social media. I am pretty active there, at Dollamore. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, at Dollamore. And if I bring you value, if you appreciate what I do, Please consider supporting my work, taking part in the mission uh, that I, I feel that we are accomplishing here on the show. You can click the join button below, become a channel member for as little as $1.99 a month, pennies a day. Or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast, which is not just for the podcast. They won't let me change the name of the page. <laughs> uh, it also supports what I do right here on YouTube. Anyway, I love you guys. I appreciate you very much. I will see you next time. Until I do, be genuine, take care of one another.